Decision day is here. Millions of Americans voted early and millions more are heading to the polls today. They'll decide what appears to be an incredibly close race for president, which party will control Congress and more. Good morning. I'm John Aaron. And I'm Michelle Bash. Voters in the district are streaming into the polls this morning. WTOP's Luke Lukert is in Northwest talking to them and he starts our team coverage. Here at Annunciation Church, voters are filing in slowly but steadily, opting to vote in person rather than filling out a mail-in ballot. Now I want to make sure that I did it right. That's why I'm here. I think it's a, our, our civic duty. For some voters, the presidential outcome was top of mind in issues like reproductive rights and LGBTQ rights. Also, uh, immigration, uh, the wars that just don't seem to stop. The ballot measure, Initiative 83, might be the closest race here in Deep Blue D.C. If approved, it would bring ranked choice voting and open primaries. I think the ranked choice voting is way too complicated. In Northwest D.C., Luke Luger, WTOP News. The polls in D.C. and Maryland will stay open until 8 tonight. Meantime, polls in Virginia are open until 7. WTOP's Neil Augenstein is talking to voters at a polling location in Loudoun County. This voter was in line when the polls opened here at Liberty Elementary School. He starts every election day casting his ballot in person. I just never did early voting before and I didn't honestly look into it. These voters have grown weary after a long partisan divisive campaign season. I'm hoping that subsides a lot and I'm, I'm glad it's over after hopefully the next day or two. But I just hope tomorrow we all wake up and we move on as a country regardless of what happens. In South Riding, Neil Loggenstein, WTOP News. If you vote today and find a problem at the polls, there are things you can do to get it solved quickly. WTOP's Kate Ryan has the advice. Before you head out the door to vote, check your registration status. There are online voter registration lookup tools for Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. And let's say you've moved. Joanne Antoine with Common Cause Maryland has this advice. Look up the polling location that's assigned to your new current address. Go to that location, update your registration while there because you want to make sure you update that info and vote. You'll likely be asked to vote on a provisional ballot. There may be other issues. Perhaps you asked for a mail-in ballot, but it never arrived. You can vote in person, but again, she says... It will likely be a provisional ballot. You should think of it as just a security mechanism, right, where we are just ensuring that you are, in fact, eligible and that your vote is only being counted once. Kate Ryan, WTOP News. Both the Maryland and Virginia Departments of Elections are expected to provide multiple news briefings throughout the day today on how things are going at the polls. Of course, we'll bring you the latest when we get it. There's a good chance we will not know who the next president is tonight, but there will be significant political indicators to look for as results come in. WTOP's Mitchell Miller has more today on the Hill. Six states, including Virginia, have polls closing at 7 this evening. Among the things to watch for, how are the presidential candidates doing in the Commonwealth? Joe Biden won Virginia by 10 points in 2020. Is Vice President Harris keeping pace with that, or is former President Trump doing better? The battleground state of Georgia will be critical to watch early on. Elections officials say they could have close to 70% of the state's vote counted by around 8 p.m. And Pennsylvania is among 17 states where polls close at 8. Erie County is a key swing area that could provide hints of where the election is going. On Capitol Hill, Mitchell Miller, WTOP News. And be sure to tune in tonight for WTOP's team coverage of the results on air and at WTOP.com. And coming up on WTOP in Money News. A local university pads its real estate portfolio. I'm Brennan Hazelton. Traffic and weather in 30 seconds. 